Topsik Cockney, welcome to Tamapta. The people of Inuvik and surrounding communities had the opportunity to see ex-NHLers play hockey. They played against some of our players from the Inuvik Senior Hockey League. The biggest thrill was Guy Lafleur and Steve Shutt were on the ex-NHL team. I will talk with Guy Lafleur and organizer Bob Desatel, who's the government of the NWT, Regional Recreation Officer for the Inuvik region. Who would ever think that Guy Lafleur and Steve Shutt would come to Inuvik? Well, it happened on February the 28th and March 1st. What was Lafleur's reaction when he found out he was coming up here? Well, uh, people were saying that they, they, there's no tree. <laughs> but I, I find some because there's some, but there's not too many. But uh, uh, no, they told me that uh, people were very nice, you know. And, uh, it's, it's small towns, uh, it's different than big city. And uh, nobody rush, you know. It's, uh, take it easy and uh, they enjoy life. And big difference between big city. It's go, go, go all the time. Well, I heard a lot about it, fishing and hunting stuff, because uh, I like fishing and hunting, but uh, it's, uh, I, was, I was happy because uh, that's what I was saying to the guys, that uh, I've been traveling all over the uh, United States and uh, even Europe, and you don't even know your country, so uh, I'm glad to, to, to be here, and uh, I'm sure I'll be back. Regional Recreation Officer Bob Desatel said the whole team was impressed with the people. They seem to be distant, but still very friendly and never too overbearing. They found that was the difference from the South they've never seen before. Mr. Desatel says all the ex-NHLers want to drive on the ice road. As we drove down the ice road, uh, they couldn't believe that we were actually driving on the Mackenzie River. And uh, we were like little kids in a school bus all looking out the windows. And did, uh, did they have very much questions for you on uh, how thick the ice is? That was the first question <laughs> before we even hit the ice. It was how thick is it? <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of questions. Where does it, you know where does the road lead to, and how long is it in? And they were all pretty impressed with uh, with the fact that we do drive on the river up here. Mm -hmm. yeah. The main reason Lafleur and Shot came here was to hold hockey clinics for the two days. Mr. Desatel says the hockey game was to pay for the cost to bring the players up here. How did the hockey clinics turn out? Great. I was really impressed. We had a turnout of over 50 young people and, you know, adults from all the communities in the Inuvik region. The biggest turnout, of course, from Inuvik. And uh, I think we got the results we were out for. From what I, the people I've talked to have felt that they've learned quite a few skating skills, stick handling skills as well as shooting skills. And Guy Lafleur was known as one of the best marksmen in the league, so mm -hmm. he managed to pass on some of his skills. The clinics were only for two hours during the two days. Lafleur says two hours a day is not enough ice time. Well, we just did some drill uh, yesterday because we didn't have any goalie, and today we just had the kids wants to play hockey and have fun, so uh, that's the way it should be. If you don't have fun playing, well, you better not. Uh, the kid uh, really enjoy it. It's too short, uh, short like that, two hours every day. It's not enough. You know, I have to be here all the time and uh, to make them practice some drills. How to shoot, how to turn, and how to stop, and uh, how to drill with the puck. So you uh, have to be here more, at least a week. On this drill, we're going to start off and we're going to skate around the circles. Okay, what we want to do is when we're skating around the, the circles is you want to jump. You want to be jumping with your, with your skates. The next circle you go on, you go the opposite way. What I want you guys to do is I want you to keep jumping when you're jumping on your skates. When you're cutting in, that way you're going to get a lot faster turn. You're going to be a lot more mobile. All ones will be here, all twos will be down there. Okay? One, two. Two. One. Two. Oh, yeah, guys. Stick on the ice. Get your stick on the ice. Let's go. Stick on the ice. Wrong side, this thing.
clinics. This yeah, was the response Mr. Desitel got back from the communities. And, uh, everyone was really impressed. Uh, I don't know if they were impressed as much by the skills they learned as they were with being able to skate, you know, rubbing shoulders with Keila Fleur and Steve Shutt. Mm -hmm. I think that was the biggest thrill of all. The manager coach of the ex NHLers, Mur Bodnarchuk, held a class clinic after Lafleur and Chuck finished with the students on the ice. The recreation director for Saks Harbor, Martin Goodliffe, came for the clinics. Here's what he got out of the two days. Uh, can you tell me a bit about the talk that uh, they gave you up there since we weren't up there for the for that session? Yeah, he mainly he mainly put forth that no matter who the person is playing hockey or in any sports actually that education is one of the biggest parts where you should do your education even though if you turn like you may not turn professional but if you do it's still good to have an education because you only have so long sort of in the in the NHL if you do go there mm -hmm. and they were stressing that themselves wished that they had gone through the math and the sciences and everything else so they could have uh, did better when they were not involved with the hockey themselves afterwards mm -hmm. did you go on the ice with skates Yes, we did. Uh, unfortunately, our, we don't have an arena in Saks yet, and uh, we hadn't skated. We have not skated since last spring, so uh, it was kind of neat to skate again. And it was a little. It was one thing there that we had was uh, in Saks Harbor. We usually have uh, dull skates and rough ice, and here we had super sharp skates and smooth ice. So it was quite different. <laughs> Uh, is there any plans in the future to get a like a arena complex up in Saks? As far as you know, I went in forth in the Legislative Assembly for a, an arena complex and uh, an expansion to our gymnasium and possibly a swimming pool mm -hmm. for the summer. So we're all excited. It would be kind of nice to have something like that for year round would be nice to have. Here's some advice Lafleur gave to the players and people involved with minor hockey. Well, the caliber is, is pretty good, you know. Uh, you need a lot of ice time, you need a lot of practice, but uh, they have some good hockey players, you know. If they, they, it's tough because they don't, they don't play a lot together or they don't practice a lot. Uh, the more ice time you have, the better you get. So that's, well, get more ice time and uh, get uh, the organization, work with the kids, you know. It's important to, to work with the kids and uh, to make them feel that they have a chance, you know. And I'm sure that uh, if, if they do it right, uh, they, might do it. What gave you the idea to bring up Guy Lafleur and Steve Shutt? Well, we have a program called a sports skills program with our department and through the recreation division. And it's geared mainly to get high profile people up to gain interest in a sport. Sometimes that is uh, the only way of motivating young people into the interest. Mm -hmm. And uh, I had a chance of getting uh, two very high-profile hockey players up, so I jumped up a chance. And, uh, Where did you hear about this, that you can get them up here? Um, I was originally contacted some time ago by a promoter, mm -hmm. and in turn I was going to turn it over to the town. And then in the meantime, this program came up, so I thought, perfect, this is what we need, and this is what we want. And so it just seemed to fall in place. Don't you find uh, in this Inuvik region that uh, the uh, children are already in, uh, very interested in hockey? Yeah, there's, there's a big interest in hockey. However, there doesn't seem to be as much of an interest in developing the skills. It's more of a matter of getting out when you have the ice time and playing and, and then you're done kind of thing. And for me, my job is to see that those skills are developed and that we can try and gain an interest. And mm -hmm. I, think it, I think it worked. Did uh, Guy Lafleur, Steve Shutt, uh, make a point, a big, a big point that stays in your mind uh, through his, their clinic? Um, just the fact that if we get one or two kids that develop a, a sincere interest in the game, then that interest will snowball to the other kids, and then hopefully we've got, you know, a very big hockey presence in in Inuvik that way. Mm -hmm. The hockey game was not a sellout. There were about 330 people that went to the game. I expected a minimum of 500, and that was our goal, was 500. Um, uh, we originally set it up at 800 and thought that was too much. It would have been uncomfortable to watch the game, and people would have been jammed in. Mm -hmm. So we cut it back to 500, and uh, we still 
fell short of that. The ex-NHLers pose so that everyone can get a photograph of all of them together. After that, all the players were introduced. They started with the Inuvik All-Stars. Samuel Hearn Secondary School Band was there to play O Canada. Mayor Gordon Campbell and government of the NWT Superintendent for Municipal and Community Affairs, Mike O'Rourke, dropped the puck to begin the game. Lafleur played for the Montreal Canadiens for 13 years and says he really enjoyed it. This is what he thought of the game he and the others played with the Inuvik team. 
Well, it's a lot of fun. You know, I'm not sure. I'm sure that uh, you don't go by the score, even if it was uh, 21 something. Uh, the guys had a lot of fun. Uh, uh, the people who went to see the game too. So uh, it, was, it was nice, and the guys really enjoy it. So that's yeah. I mean, that's what it counts, and it gives the uh, opportunity to uh, the kids to see uh, us play. And uh, you know, if they have the chance one day to uh, to be in the NHL, you never know. Uh, it doesn't, you don't have to come from big city to uh, play in the NHL, and uh, if you can give hope to the, the, the little kids, you know, and the, the, all the youngsters. Well, it's, that's what we're here for. Roy Ipana, who plays for the Ingamo Huskies, says he was very excited to play. He even gave Lafleur his fur hat. Well, I was, I was really excited. Like you know, you read about these guys, like Guy Lafleur. I used to read everything about him and follow his every, you know, everyday life and that. And get a chance to play against him was, you know, really something else. Mm -hmm. I felt like a little kid going to. <laughs> Hockey game. Yeah. Was it something that a dream come true for you, kind of thing? Well, I think I think for most people, you know, to dream of playing in the NHL or at least playing against the NHL All Star, All Stars, or just you know, really something else for me and for the other guys around this team. We all, like I said, we all felt like a bunch of little kids, all excited. Well, sometimes you, you find yourself just watching them. I'm a defenseman and I just find myself watching these guys. They just go right around me. And it didn't matter to me. But it was fun just watching them. Anything you'd like to add? We want to play against Wayne Gretzky. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Rock. You're welcome. One of the goalies mm -hmm. that played for the Inuvik well, um, All-Stars was Tom Williams. He, he plays for the Rose you Rustlers in the Inuvik Senior in Hockey yes, League. Yes, I was. Uh, it's good for, for the whole territories having celebrities like that coming up because mm -hmm. it's good for hockey. Uh, hockey's just starting to get on a move here. Some of the communities, they have the new arenas going in, mm -hmm. and it's good for that. Uh, gets people more and more excited about hockey, especially when you have some of these stars coming up. Like, Everybody knows Guy Lafleur, and everybody knows the Montreal Canadiens. And it, it was a worthwhile experience. The outcome was 21-8, but it was a fun time, a learning experience. Mm -hmm. Playing against uh, some of your idols, uh, it's Guy Lafleur and Steve Shutt, it was a thrill of a lifetime. <laughs> Are you a real Montreal fan? No, <laughs> I'm not, not a Montreal fan, but uh, I'm a fan of Guy Lafleur and Steve Shutt. They're good hockey players. Mm -hmm. So they showed you a few things that. Uh Will stick in your mind? Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, they showed showed me how how they guys like that make the NHL and why they played so long in the NHL. They know how to put the puck in the net. Mm -hmm. For many, this was a lifetime dream come true to see Lafleur and Shut in person. Mr. Desatel says in the future he's looking at getting other very great athletes to Inuvik. He hopes to do this at least twice a year, mainly on the clinic basis. The game was more or less to offset the cost of bringing the players up. In the future, I'll look more into just the clinic. And uh, right now, I'm presently working on getting Alex Bauman up for a summer workshop in our above ground pool program. Mm -hmm. And uh, if all goes well, we will have him in the summer for a couple of days. So in the future, you'll be looking at um, different areas, not only sticking to hockey, like no. maybe skiing or something? Yeah, there'll be, uh, you know, as well, I'm open to suggestions and ideas, and it's, it's mainly to develop the younger people and to uh, try and see where the interest lies and uh, mm -hmm. work on that end of it. Did you uh, watch uh, the younger kids around Shutt and Lafleur up at the arena? Yes. <laughs> what, what kind of reaction did they have? They um, well, I was really surprised because so many of them wouldn't, wouldn't have even seen uh, Shut or Lafleur play hockey, but they were all in awe, and they uh, just couldn't seem to get close enough. And uh, mm -hmm. the autographs were constantly. I was constantly uh, picking up napkins and uh, programs and that, and asking Steve or Guy to uh, sign them and pass them on to uh, to the all kids. Right. Overall, the way you turned out, were you quite pleased the way it turned out? I was very pleased with the way everything turned out. There was a lot of help from others. Um, other people on my staff who helped tremendously. Um, people at the rink, the staff of the arena, the people.
people at McKenzie treated our, you know, the ex-NHL people like royalty. Um, the Newark Town Council donated all the ice time, so without all that help, it wouldn't have been possible. Mm -hmm. um, definitely a lot of work. Definitely a lot of work. Uh, so anything you would like to add? Just that I just would like to thank everybody who was involved in helping me, and they know who they are. <laughs> thank you, Bob. Thank you, Darcy. Jamborees are held in our six communities every year. This is to celebrate the coming of spring. Inubik holds their muskrat jamboree first, and then the rest of the communities follow along. ICS would like to show you some clips of past jamborees. When we begin our new programming in the fall, you will see the jamborees of 1987. So William Bay, five minutes, thirty seven seconds.